CataractCoach.com. Dense white cataract, fake or chop. So great chopping technique and patience is the key. So we'll start off here making that incision. Pretty dense looking cataract, that little brownish part to it, that uh, opaqueness. Obviously, it's a white cataract as well, so try pan blue dyes going inside. I've sped the video up so we can watch the whole thing here together. And now let's make, see making a side port. Gosh, I wish those eyelashes were not in the surgical field. But, you know, what can you do? Sometimes patience, you know, when you put the drapes on, or less than cooperative. I would like to redo the drapes, but let's, let's move on to the case. So starting off here, getting this Rexus done. Important to get a good-sized Rexus. You don't want to have a brunescent lens stuck in the capsule bag with a 4mm Rexus. You just don't. That's just going to be grief. So nice, good, generous Rexus. And not too much intumescent lens fluid, so minimal risk of Argentina flag sign. There you go. We're using a specialized flattened cannula here, doing a little hydro dissection. And let's see, chopper going in with a Sinsky, even more rotation. There you go. Very nicely done. And now here comes the fake probe and the chopper. Let's see what technique looks like. Uh, maybe horizontal chop. Cleaning up some of the lens cortex there from the anterior surface of the nucleus. And now buzzing in the probe pretty deep. Very good. Oh, yeah, horizontal chop. And you see it didn't go through. Don't be discouraged. You got to keep, you know, keep persistent with it. Chop, 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 more chop. So now the surgeon's kind of grooving down a little bit, making maybe a pit. That'll help you trap the nucleus between the phaco tip and the chopper to exert a little more force. So you're not just, worried, you're not just using the holding power of the vacuum. You can actually trap it. Or maybe it's a stop and chop. Again, let's see. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. So it may be tough to crack this if you just do a stop and chop because, remember, this has a thick posterior plate there that can be kind of leathery and fibrous. And so, oh, but the stop and chop looks pretty good. You can see that posterior plate. Look, as the, the crack is, you know, propagated, you'll see it still has these fibrous connections that doesn't want to fully split. So it's still slightly attached, perhaps. Now, a good chop going in there. Nice horizontal chop. There we go. So converted to a stop and chop technique. Beautifully done here. Now, a little bit of energy being applied. And you can use some sort of fake of power modulations here, too, to minimize that energy. And take out the next quadrant. So very nicely done. That tape about our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. Yeah, you got to leave YouTube for just a moment. But you know there's a free Cataract Coach PDF book. You can learn how to do all these things. So the book is totally free. Not locked up. Share it with your friends. There's a whole curriculum series, 25 part. All right, let's recoat the end of the end there with viscoelastic. That's a smart move. Going inside here with the FACO probe. There's the chopper again. Now the remaining half of the nucleus can be chopped again. And look how the pieces don't want to separate. That's pretty typical for brunescent cataract where they ended up having difficulty propagating your chop all the way through because that posterior aspect of the lens nucleus tends to be kind of tough and leathery and kind of fibrous. So now taking these pieces out. Now remember, when the last piece comes up, there's no cortex holding the bag back. So make sure that chopper's in that safe position underneath the phaco tip so that you're protecting the posterior capsule from coming up and contacting the phaco tip. So there's the last piece. There you go. I like this technique. Chopper's in a safe position. Beautifully done. And then get that piece out by this page is going to be so happy. Can you imagine going from essentially minimal hand motion vision to clear vision right away? Now, the amount of phaco energy here was pretty modest, I think. And so the patient should have pretty good uh, vision tomorrow morning. If the patient has some coronal edema, that's no big deal. It's kind of to be expected with this dense cataract. But again, the surgeon did a beautiful job of chopping, the stop and chop technique too, and recoating the endothelium with viscoelastic. All good ideas. And so now, cortex can cleaned up. Pretty good. Time for the lens. Let's see what we got for the lens here. And looks like a um, yep, single piece of acrylic lens going in the capsule bag. And seal this incision up and call this a day. Beautifully done case. So definitely, you want to be able to tailor your surgery to the patient. Sure, you can do phaco chop for these dense pedestrian cataracts. But there's some cases, like we saw yesterday with the MSICS video, sometimes you're better off doing an M6 procedure. And that procedure is a great one too. So you got to know both. Come on. All right, thanks for watching, and remember, check out our social media. A lot of good stuff there. YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, that amazing podcast. A new one every week.